Hello everyone and welcome back. It's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, we are going to talk about SLGs and what upcoming bags I am looking at, especially this Fendi Times Versace collab. Ugh, we have to talk about this. And I also want to point out um, just certain things that have been coming to my DM about safety. Ladies, us shopping alone, we really, really need to speak on this. But before we get started, make sure you view my past videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have all that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. And foremost, you see her peeking out. She have to show you guys what's up every time. So here she is. She is speaking. The YSL Eye Care Maxi is most definitely the bag of the summer. I know you guys saw on Instagram. I did a, a reel for you guys. And this was the outfit. I absolutely love this bag, guys. It is so gorgeous. So big. Holds so much. And I also love the YSL belt bag. That I had on with this outfit. If you didn't get a chance to see how I created this, please go on my Instagram page. I did as stated an entire reel on how I created the shorts and the sweater, cut the collar, and added my beautiful accessories. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the DMs that have been coming my way in regards to the young lady that went into the Galleria here in Houston. This is so sad. She went in the Galleria to make a purchase. She went in to LV in the Galleria here in Houston. She made her purchase because she was going out of town. So she made a purchase, came outside, of course, to get in her vehicle. She put the items in her trunk of her SUV. Instead of going home, she made another stop. As stated in her caption, she says she went into another store for only 10 minutes. Once she came outside, she saw security guards around her SUV. Someone had broke out her back window that fast, guys. 10 minutes. Broke out her back window and took her LV Horizon travel case, guys. She said it was 5600 which I absolutely believe her because traveling cases, especially hard cases from LV are very, very expensive. And she was actually going out of town this week. And so they took the entire bag, which was a travel case, guys. And I felt so, so bad for her. So instead of her getting ready, being excited about her trip, she now has to replace her back window and of course, try to find another traveling case. So this lets me know, and I know you guys can read between the lines, they actually followed her from the Galleria, which is to me is so scary. I mean, what if they followed her home? Like if she didn't make this stop, what if they followed her home? That's the thing guys, they're not just taking from the parking lot. They are waiting for you to reach a destination and that's where they're actually taking the items. That's when they take the items. So guys, we have to be careful. And I'm, I'm speaking to myself as well because I show you guys these vlogs and my last vlog I did at the Galleria, you guys saw how nervous I was. I kept expressing that in my vlog, how nervous I was. And I had to honestly just end the vlog because when I was there in the Galleria, which I don't mind if you guys come and speak, but it, the distraction for me that's a distraction and i lose focus because i want to speak to you guys but then i lose thought of you know my surroundings i'm not watching my surroundings very well because you know i do want to you know give you guys a hug embrace you guys and tell you thank you so much for the support guys no more i will not travel to the gallery alone i don't care 
how bad I need an item. If my husband is not available, I am not doing it. Or I am just going to tell that SA, if I know this is the bag that I want, please just ship it to me. It's only going to take a day or two to reach me. I am here in Houston. And if I do not like the item or it doesn't fit well, I would just take the item back. But if I'm not with my husband, you will not see me doing any vlogs ever again. So ladies, please, please be careful. I think this needs to be talked about a lot more. The security guards, I'm not sure um, how they didn't hear anything, how they actually came at the end. But guys, we can't even trust security guards. We can't. I'm sorry to say this. You don't know the connections they have with different people. I don't know. To me, it just seems kind of strange how they were actually there after um, the glass was broke and they were able to take off with the items out of the um, out of the trunk. So, like I said, just safety is everything. Go with a group of friends. I mean, you guys go in together, leave out together, go straight home always watch your surroundings your rearview mirror if someone is following you for a longer period of time i just wanted to let you guys know thank you for sending me the dms i do see the dms and i am aware of what happened to this young lady and i just wanted to share it with you guys as well if you um were not aware of it this happened at the houston galleria she was not the thing wasn't stolen her item wasn't stolen from the gallery but she was followed home from the gallery okay so let's get started i wanted to speak on my slg since a lot of you guys are now asking what are my favorite slgs what slgs i actually am now staying away from and guys this is only my opinion with slgs because i honestly love slgs a little bit more than the big handbags especially if i can convert them so my favorite slgs of all time of course is the mini pochette my fave mini pochette of course you guys know i love the mini pochette because you can convert it into a small crossbody i actually carry in my mini pochette my key fob lip gloss hand sanitizer hand lotion and everything fits inside you can have um fit your credit cards in here cash coins and it's that's my daily essential guys if I can fit these items in my mini pochette, I can put it on as a crossbody and I am good to go. I can have my phone in my hand, no big deal. So if you do not have a mini pochette in your collection, you are missing out. I did sell four. I had eight in total and I only sold those four because they were just sitting in my collection, guys. As stated, you know, I was getting rid of some items that were just been sitting here for years. And those four I did eliminate out of my collection. But of course, these three prints I will always have. This trifecta will never go away in my collection. I love these prints all together. And you guys know I love the bicolor. Only thing that they are missing is the reverse monogram. If they add a reverse monogram mini pochette, you guys know I am going to go crazy. <laughs> so mini pochette, of course, first convert these babies, guys. Be creative. We pay for these items. Be creative with them. And don't worry about anyone saying, hey, it's a mini pochette. It's not supposed to be a crossbody. You pay your money, convert as you wish. Okay, the next items that I love to have in my collection, you guys honestly know I love the Recto Verso card holders. Here they are. And I know you guys are going to ask, yes, 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 I am going to purchase the reverse monogram recto verso. I am going to explain later why I have not purchased yet. But here is this beauty here, the Damier Ebene with the cherry red. Damier Ebene with the rose ballerine pink. And this honestly is my favorite, the monogram with black. You guys know I love this combo. I love to add this on the outside of my backpacks, especially the Montessori. It is so cute. You guys have to try it. 
and I do have this from YSL. To me, it just puts me in the mind. It's just similar to the Recto Verso. It just doesn't have that front pocket, but it does have the card slots here in the back, and it also has a zipper that does not extend down to the side. As you guys can see, I love thin card holders. I also have this from Fendi. I'm not a big fan of, honestly, this was just there and I wanted something to match my Fendi Sunshine Tote. They didn't have white. And so I purchased this. I have not used it yet. So guys, this is most definitely one of my splurge purchases <laughs> because it was there, but it does have a top slot for cards. And of course the front pocket and card slots here in the bag. So the Recto Verso most definitely is my favorite card holder. My mini pochette is my favorite SLG, but as far as card holders, you cannot go wrong with a Recto Verso card holder. Guys, go and purchase one. As stated here, it can hold additional cards or if you wanna put cash on the back, card slots. I love the extended zipper, actually it's my favorite and additional cards, cash or coins here inside. And you guys know, I love this. I love to decorate and add to my bag. So this is perfect. The next card holders I will consider is some of my favorites in my SLG collection are the LV card holders. I love these card holders because they don't require a lot of room. They don't take up a lot of room in your bags. And I do like it because if I don't want to carry a lot of cards, if I just need my ID and just a few cards, I'm going into the store and I want it to fit in my mini pochette, this actually works. And so I do have the Rose Ballerine in the on front leather. And of course the reverse monogram print here and the Dolphin that I wear with my Dolphin Hobo and hopefully the Marquita Reverse Hobo bag comes out. This will be perfect for it. It does, this one does not. The Dolphin, I have to keep remembering that because as you guys see, I was reaching for that card slot here. It does not have one at the front. I did do a comparison with these two. So this does have a slot here at the front. This does not, it has a mid section and it has a section here at the back. So you can fit your ID, your credit card that you actually need for the day. This is perfect. I still have my mini pochette on. And so I will show you guys that if you do want to carry your card holder quick store run, it does fit inside and it doesn't take up a lot of space. That is my absolute favorite. And so when I know that I'm carrying a smaller purse, I reach for these card holders here. The next SLGs that I want to talk about are the key holders. Can you guys see the prints? The same as the mini pochette. I have all three of the classic prints. You guys know this. I would never ever let these leave my collection. And of course the bicolor. I love these because I honestly use these as decorations as well to add on the outside of my handbags. And also guys, I love to have it on my belt loop of my jeans. It just spices up your outfit and adds so much to your outfit. With this one, the monogram, I honestly don't use. I don't use, I just keep <laughs> my kids six flag. Okay, membership cards in here and I just store it away. I know exactly where they are. And so I actually keep them in here and I just put them in my drawer. But whenever we go out of town and go to Six Flags, I do grab this and I add it to my belt loop. And the others I love to attach to the outside of my bags and as stated, my belt loops as well. This is so beautiful. I love this print so much. It grew on me so fast, just adorable. I love it so much. So a lot of you guys do use this if you do have a key fob. And I think that's probably what a lot of us use it for. So these most definitely can be used as card holders as well. So make use of all the items that you do have in your collection. Just because it says key holder does not mean you have to just put your keys inside, guys. That's just the name. 
Here are some more faves, SLGs in my collection, the LV Slim Purse. I speak on these babies a lot. The only print that I am missing is the Damier Bean, only because it did have the Vachetta trimming here. I'd rather for a Damier Bean to be with a dark brown, a dark color. Um, even, I would have even accepted black, you know. I just didn't like how the Vachetta um, strip here looked at the top, but I am considering adding it to my collection. I love these card holders, of course, because they are thin and they hold so many cards here. As you guys can see, it does have a front open slot and it does have room inside. This is perfect if you do not want to carry your entire bag inside of the store. You can put your key fob here inside. You can lock your door. But with everything going going now, guys, take your entire bag. <laughs> take your bag in the store, okay? Or leave your bag at home and then just carry it as a wristlet. So put your key fob inside. This does hold cash and it does hold checks, cards here, coins inside. So guys, I love the Slim Purse and it doesn't take up a lot of room in your bags. I use these Slim Purses in my Graceful PM bags and also my larger on the go bag and my larger bags basically in my collection. I don't like to have my bags stuffed so you will not see these in any of my small bags or small backpacks even though they do fit. They even fit inside of the bum bag. I have been getting asked that a lot lately. I did post a small tutorial in my stories about two weeks ago. They do fit inside of the monogram mom bag. I have not tried the Umprint black bum bag, but the monogram, it fits perfect, comfortably, no issues at all. So get your hand on a slim purse. I am honestly shocked these are not that popular, but I absolutely love and adore them. As you guys see, I do have the pearl chain strap from Swag My Bags already attached. It can zip, unzip, and you can have it as stated as a wristlet. So get your hands on a slim purse. This is most definitely some of my faves in my SLG collection, and I most definitely will not part ways with them. The next, I know you guys will get upset. Some of you guys do not believe the toiletry 26 should be converted. I am not even going to show because you guys get so upset when we convert the toiletry 26. But the toiletry 19, toiletry 26 is in my collection. And I honestly don't even consider the toiletry 26 an SLG because I convert it and use it as a clutch and also as a crossbody bag. So for those that are against the converting, I do apologize. But any size toiletry 26 is a blessing to have in your collection. I only have the size 19 and the 26. Both of those bags fit my lifestyle very well. The 26, well no, the 19. Let me grab it. So happy to be in my closet. <laughs> the 19 I actually was using as a makeup bag until I purchased the cosmetic bag from the Game On collection. And so you also, just because it's small, you can still use it as a cute little clutch if you like, or as stated as a toiletry. I do not have the 15 because I have the mini pochettes and I just felt like I didn't need the 15. And so guys, these are some of my favorite SLGs in my collection as well. And I only have a few more to talk about because I am full of SLGs. I love SLGs because I want to get to an SLG I will never purchase again. And so, of course, guys, you know I love these babies here. You've seen on Instagram the Kirigami. I love the monogram Kirigami set so much. It's perfect. I also have By The Pool a Kirigami set as well. And I love wearing these in the summertime. And also when I go on vacay, I love to convert these as well. So guys, I am most definitely the converting queen. I will convert any SLG I feel that needs to be converted. <laughs> so I love to convert these. Uh, the larger Kirigami sets from the Kirigami sets, the larger size. I love to have these as small little totes. 
and the medium size as you guys see as stated on instagram i love to have them around i just convert them into little belt bags they are so so cute and as you guys can see i do have an insert inside from swag my bags and i also use these as decor as well and i attach a chain and i wear them on the side as well so they are so cute just get creative guys you know i love creativity i love being different and so use those kirigamis for whatever you want to use them for i love to convert them and they are so so cute okay so guys let's get to this last slg because like i said guys i am full of slgs i just kind of want to show you some of my favorites some of you guys know i have been selling a lot of my slgs if they are sitting clear wallet clear 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 wallet and i kept the black unprint because i do have the never full bag and i have a lot of um black unprint handbags in my collection so i still do have this beautiful clear wallet still in my collection but she's not picked up a lot unfortunately before i speak on the zippy wallet it is so funny so my daughter was listening to the video and she said mommy what about your um braza wallet and i'm like oh crap correct <laughs> you guys know and i am so proud oh my gosh i'm proud i actually had this in my handbag that's why you guys know how I feel about the Braza Wallet. They do not sell it in this print anymore. They do have it in the monogram print. I even told myself that I should go and purchase the Braza Wallet, but I feel um, in monogram print, but I feel if I do, I'm not going to purchase another card holder in my collection because that's what's been going on so far. This is why I have not switched to another card holder. I have been having this card holder now straight for two months only when i go out i will switch the card holder but once i come back i go straight to the bras wallet i'm going to cover up my id but guys it has all of my cards it's just perfect it's perfect it has a slot here for cash cards receipts this is just the perfect card holder i love it so much i really really do i love it so much but the zippy wallet I'm not sure why, guys, but I have not used a Zippy Wallet. I am not a fan of the Zippy Wallet at all. I purchased this two years ago. You guys know why it's reverse monogram. I actually purchased this to go inside of my reverse monogram Speedy 30. Here it is. It does hold a lot. And, of course, as you guys can see, it's brand new. Here's the product code number, M69353. And does it have a price? Yes, it does have a price. I paid $990 for this Zippy wallet. And for some reason, I just cannot sell it. And I think it's because it's reverse monogram. But I wanted to tell you guys why that is the reason I haven't purchased the Recto Verso. Because, guys, I am full of reverse monogram card holders. I need to make a smart decision. I need to make a smart purchasing decision. Because I do still have the thin card holder. I have the Juliet wallet. I have the Zippy wallet. And I also have the vertical Zippy wallet. And this is a crossbody. So it's crazy because this is a Zippy wallet. This is a Zippy wallet. But the reason that I love this is because I can carry my phones as well. But guys, it's a Zippy wallet. It's the exact same thing. But for some reason, I just don't have an attachment to this. Maybe I need to start using it or use it and maybe i will fall in love but i don't want to force anything um i don't know i just feel maybe if it had the monogram print the classic monogram print on one side but for some reason once i purchased it just sat in my reverse monogram collection unused it's brand new okay as you guys can see the zippy wallet holds so much and when i say I wouldn't purchase again. I wouldn't purchase again because it's a reason why I'm not carrying the Zippy wallet and I need to find out. Like I said, maybe I need to just try it 
and that's the reason so i feel like maybe i need to sell one of them then go and buy the recto verso since i love the recto verso so much but it's hard for me to detach myself from reverse monogram like i think i will be sick to my stomach if i sell it <laughs> so i don't know but the zippy wallet i cannot honestly see myself um purchasing another print another style at all but it's here in my collection so guys help me out what would you do i want the recto verso in reverse monogram but as stated i have a lot of card holders in that same print and i know i need to be smart about this thing so please guys help me out you know we are luxury sisters help a sister out what should i do should i detach myself and sell one of them or just go and just purchase the recto verso because i love reverse monogram so much okay and guys this is everything this is everything you can carry everything in here if you view my past video you guys see like you can honestly have this on all day every day and not need another bag or change your bag okay holds both of my phones holds key fogs hold my lip gloss i did a whole instagram series in my stories showing you everything it holds so guys help a sister out as stated this is probably like the last slg that i will pick out as my fave but like i said i'm not sure what what the connection is i don't know before i end this video guys i want to show you <laughs> what i did with my ysl clutch yes guys i did the hack i took the wristlet strap and i pulled it to the opposite side and i just attached the d-rings and i wanted just a small little tote you can have this as a crossbody if you wish but i wanted to see how it looked as a tote for like date night and it turned out very very cute so once i wear it i will share with you guys and let me open up and show you exactly what i did okay so here it is here is the wristlet here the wristlet here okay let me attach the whole thing for you guys okay so here it is without the wristlet attached correct you can have it as a clutch if you wish so here is the end piece here i'm going to attach it to the d-ring okay i am going to bring it to the opposite side and guys, you kind of got to play with it and make sure it's leveled correctly. And I push, just push mine down a little bit and then I close it. Okay. And then you bring it to the other side. And as you guys see, it does stick out right here. The additional loop. And I just attach it here. Okay. Okay. There it goes. And to me, I feel like that's kind of difficult because you still have to watch out because when you do open, it does kind of slide off and it slides down. And so I am just waiting for my inserts with Swag My Bags to come in because I prefer the insert over the little hat. But as for right now, I think it is cute. I wanted a tote handle versus a crossbody but if you want a crossbody just use a longer chain strap but that is the hat guys so again take the wristlet strap and just bring it over to the other side and attach a d-ring okay to the opposite side simple and as stated any strap that you need and if you want more security making sure that it doesn't slide just tuck it in just a little bit and you know that it is going to change whenever you do open up the bag but here it is and it looks just cute just like this with the clutch as a clutch you see how the gold just matches the gold wire seal here this is just so sexy and of course the chunky chain strap is from swag my bag accessories so guys thank you so much for tuning in oh my god this is popping Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As stated, guys, be safe.
safe. Oh my God, if anyone knows that young lady, please reach out to me via DM. I would love to just have a conversation with her. I am located in Houston. I just want to make sure she's okay. Okay, guys, so stay blessed. Stay safe until next video. Bye-bye.